Hello there, my name is Makars and in this video I want to show you how to work with GIFs in BBS mode and film editor. I didn't particularly like the way GIFs worked in blockbuster mode, it didn't really allow me to pull control the playback and crash sometimes. In BBS mode I implemented GIFs differently, check this out. So first go to the dashboard and open the film editor, then create a new film, I'm gonna call mine GIFs. Then create a new camera clip, make it, for example, 100 takes long, place it something like this, so it will be a nice frame, and create a new replay. Then pick the billboard form, and let's bring it up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold shift, right click it, and pick transform. Then I'm gonna bring it up, I didn't scale it uniformly, by first dragging it left click and then pressing right click and alt to kind of like fine tune the scale okay i think it's uh, right all right now go back to replay editor and create a new texture keyframe so here and uh, let's go to asset now create here a new folder, for example gears, and let's uh, enter it here, and then let's take and move this GIF in order to convert the GIF to multiple PNGs. This is a GIF from Pixel Joint. And select the first frame. So as you can see it generated lots of frames, in total there are 1 through 32 frames. So let's go back and then create some more, another keyframe, for example, let's say I'm gonna make it, so how much is that? that 12. And I'm gonna select the most latest GIF frame in the list, so it's 32. Now if I'm going to the beginning, you can see that it's actually animates. So for example, I can control how much, how fast it animates by dragging it. And not go through all of these frames. So let's say I have it over here at 19. In order to loop the GIF, what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna select this one and mark it as constant, and then I'm duplicate it multiple times by holding by selecting keyframes and holding Alt. Now I created multiple loops, as you can see, now it animates. You can also, for example, if you have like one loop, you can take and change the keyframes interpolation in order to change the playback. You can see it uh, kind of like first accelerated, it's much more visible with exponential. It's first slow and then fast and then slow. So yeah, this way you can basically control also the playback speed between frames if you want, obviously. So yeah, mm, maybe it's a good idea to bring it a little bit closer. And uh, as a bonus, you can take and pick another form, for example, the extruded form, and then now it becomes a 3D GIF. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you for watching and bye!